The Tao of Self-Confidence, Episode 384. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. Visit our website at thetaoofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits. Well, hello, friend. Welcome to the Tao of Self-Confidence, where I share stories of amazing women who have discovered their inner journey to self-confidence. I'm your host today, Sheena Yapchan, and today I have a great lady on the show today. She is a beauty and fashion blogger, and I'm just really excited to have her on and share her story with us today. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce you to Nicole Sihuko. Nicole, how are you today? Maybe you can fill in a little bit more about yourself to our listeners. I'm good. Thank you so much for having me here, Sheena. So I, like I said... I'm Nicole Sihuko. I am a beauty and fashion blogger from the Philippines. So yes, I am based in the Philippines, but I usually do travel sometimes, you know, to take pictures and to show my fashion choices all over the world. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And Nicole, what's your cultural background? Yes, I'm actually Filipino. I'm also married to another Filipino. I've been here in the Philippines my whole life. I've lived here since forever. I'm married to another Filipino. I have a son. And I've lived here in the Philippines my whole life. And yeah, so this is just, has, the Philippines has been my home for 28 years. Awesome. Well, thanks for sharing that. And what would be your favorite self-confidence quote? Well, that would be love yourself and accept yourself. Thanks for sharing that. And what would be your definition of self-confidence? For me, my definition of self-confidence is basically just accepting yourself and loving yourself, loving what you have, and being comfortable in yourself, being comfortable in your own skin, whatever that may be, whatever enhancements you may have done or gone through, as long as you love yourself and accept yourself. Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, loving and accepting yourself is like the first step to confidence, right? Because if you can't love yourself, how do you expect to love others or accept the same love that you want? So I'm really glad you mentioned that. And what was your life like before your discovery of self-confidence? You know, Sheena, actually, my whole, almost my whole life, my I've always idolized my mom. She's always been my role model. And my mom is a very confident woman. She has fashion, bold fashion choices that not everyone is used to seeing around. So people always make comments about her fashion, that it's so different, that, you know, she's so different from everyone else. But that never really affected her. She's always been so confident nonetheless. You know, despite all that, despite all those comments from other people, she's always loved herself because that is who she is. And it didn't really matter to her what people thought of her choices in life. Just as long as she's accepted and loved herself, then she's confident in it. And that's really something that she's always instilled in me. So, you know... Seeing that side of my mom just makes me more confident as well. Of course, there were times when I wasn't confident. Like at first when I was, when I first started going to a new school, I wasn't really confident in myself just because I didn't have new friends and I felt that I was different. You know, I felt that I didn't really fit in right away. But I guess I realized right then and there, this is around when I was high school, that I was different. You know, like I'm not like anyone else, just like other people are different from me that were all different from each other and I did kind of see that and I have accepted that and my flaws and like seeing that I'm so different and just accepting all that and loving it and actually making myself more aware of it that is actually a big wake-up call to me that's how really I discovered confidence just seeing my flaws and loving them Thanks for sharing that. And, you know, sometimes when we feel like we're different, we see it as a bad thing, right? We feel like, why aren't we like everybody else? You know, you know, what makes me so different? What's wrong with me not realizing like you being different is actually a good thing, right? You can go out and be the creative person that you are, be the authentic person that you are, you know, like knowing and realizing and embracing, you know, who you are and what makes you different from everyone else can actually help you out in the end. And, you know, because of you realizing that, what's your life been like now? Well, I feel that I I feel so much lighter. I feel more confident in making decisions, you know, just with my job, with my fashion choices, with like my blog. I feel more confident talking to other people as well. And I feel more confident engaging in conversations. I feel more confident asking questions when I, you know, when I'm not sure of things. Just I feel I just feel lighter and more comfortable in my own skin, basically. 
Thanks for sharing that. And Nicole, if our listeners were listening to your episode and she was in her own journey of self-confidence, what would be that one tip you would give to her? I would just probably tell her to just accept herself first. That is always the first step. Knowing your flaws, knowing your imperfections, knowing your strengths and your weaknesses, knowing what you are actually conscious about with yourself, and then accepting all that as part of yourself. Loving every single bit of you, flaws or imperfections and your strengths, and then just really honing your skills and maybe, yeah, using those strengths and weaknesses as, as something to make yourself grow. You know, that for me is something that's that would have been really, really important with that time that I was, I didn't have self-confidence. Thanks for sharing those tips. And, it, you know, I love how you mentioned like loving yourself, including your flaws, because, you know, we tend to always see it as a bad thing, right? Not realizing our flaws make us makes us beautiful and who we are and you know knowing to embrace it and owning it and just helping us become a better person every single day so thanks for sharing those tips and if our listeners wanted to get to know a little bit more about you and what you do or check out your blog is there any links or social media profiles we can connect with yeah sure you can actually follow me at nicole sihuko on instagram that's n-i-c-o-l-e-s-y-j-u-c-o and from there you can just see all the links and links to my website and links to my youtube videos awesome well thanks for sharing that nicole and to our listeners if you want to connect with nicole you can also head on over to the selfconfidence.com and search for nicole's name her show notes will pop up along with everything else we talked about and I'm really, I'm really grateful for Nicole today for sharing her story with us on self-confidence. So, Nicole, thank you so much. Thank you so much for having me, Sheena. And I'm so glad that I'm able to share my experiences with your listeners. Not a problem. It was an honor having you on the show. And to our listeners, be on the lookout for another new episode of Another Amazing Woman's Journey to Self-Confidence. And we'll talk to you soon. Bye for now. Thank you for tuning in to another amazing episode of The Tao of Self-Confidence. Sign up for our free membership site to get more amazing resources for self-confidence by visiting our website at thetowelofselfconfidence.com. Your inner journey to self-confidence awaits.